Protesters once again gather in Jefferson Square Park, just as they did a year ago following the police shooting of Breonna Taylor. Among them, a mother still grieving. Every day is still March the 13th. The anger no less than it was in the wake of the shooting. For me, it doesn't matter what justice looks like for me. It matters for Tamika Palmer what justice looks like, and it matters what looks like justice for my daughter. I'm raising a young, beautiful little brown girl, and I want to make sure she knows that no one can kill her and get away with it. We have two of America. We have one for black America and one for white America. And we got to get the same. We got to get justice for all of people of America. After his investigation, the Kentucky Attorney General had this to say about two of the three police officers involved in the shooting. According to Kentucky law, the use of force by Mattingly and Cosgrove was justified to protect themselves. This justification bars us from pursuing criminal charges in Ms. Breonna Taylor's death. The two officers were fired from the police department, and the third, Brett Hankinson, was also fired after being found guilty of firing blindly into the apartment. Breonna Taylor's killing sparked off nationwide protest and galvanized the Black Lives Matter movement as it became a major force in forging an ongoing debate about how to curb extra-legal police action. President Biden has marked the anniversary by tweeting out his condolences. Breonna Taylor's death was a tragedy, he says, a blow to her family, her community and America. As we continue to mourn her, we must press ahead to pass meaningful police reform in Congress. I remain committed to signing a landmark reform bill into law. The reform bill is still being discussed in Congress, but has substantial opposition from Republican members in particular. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.